Hi, you're sewing with Cody. In this video, we're working on the Bernina Q series. That's the Bernina Q16, Q20, and Q24. And we're going to be navigating the touch screen on, the, on this particular Bernina. They're all identical on both, on all three Bernina Q series. So if you have a Bernina, a current model Bernina, this looks similar to what you're used to working with, especially the side panel and the icons. But as we're looking here, on the left-hand side, we have our thread tension which you can adjust while you're quilting or before you start. And you can actually save that to a particular thread. So if a particular thread requires um, a particular tension, you can change it and save it to a preset setting. And that'll be in a different video. This icon here will raise and lower our foot whenever we hit that icon. So if we hit it, it'll raise or lower the foot. This one, this is where we have our preset setting. So we can have different profiles for different types of thread and we can save that in there, uh, such like different tensions for a particular thread. This right here is your bobbin indicator. So the Q-Series does not have a bobbin um, thread indicator. So it ha truly has no idea how much thread you put on it unless you tell it about how much thread you put on it. And that will also be in, in another video to kind of help figure out how much thread you actually wind on a bobbin. It'll be uh, a thread brand to brand basis and thread weight. But this is just telling us that the amount of thread we told that we told we put on the bobbin when we wound it, uh, it ran out. It used that much thread. So that's why it's blinking. It does not have any idea how much thread is actually on the bobbin. But once you reset that back to 100% or whatever you set it to, that little flashing light will go away. And here where it says BSR, this is not an actual button. This is an indicator. So when we turn on the machine and we start quilting and we have our BSR on, this will light green. When it's green, the BSR is on. When it's not lit, it means it's not on. So you may be asking, what is a BSR? So, so a BSR is a Bernina Stitch Regulator. So the Bernina Stitch Regulator is only found quite naturally on Berninas. Uh, Bernina does still currently have the patent for the Stitch Regulators, which we've had for quite a while now. Uh, we've had them all on, on our domestic machines. And when the Bernina Q Series was created, they added two of them on the Bernina Q Series. And they're built in to the machine here. You can see the bottom of them right here. So we've got two of them on the Bernina and Q-Series. So what that does is it fully regulates your stitches. Um, and the Q-Series is a powerhouse when it comes to regulating your stitches. So they stitch well over 2,000 stitches a minute, so significantly faster than your home sewing machine. Um, but they're fully stitch regulated and they are absolutely perfect and beautiful. Something that you can't find on any other sit down long arm. Other brands have added or tried to add other contraptions to your quilting experience to get them to get the stitches regulated, but nothing truly beats the built in, not in the way, no extra attachment uh, stitch regulators that are found on the Bernina Q series. So that's what the BSR is, for, is. And right here is our needle up, needle down. So whenever we turn off the stitch regulator or we stop the quilting or we disengage the quilting for that given moment, this is where the needle's gonna stop, just like on our sewing machine. So right now it'll stop down. If we want it to stop up, we can hit it. So whenever we stop quilting, the needle will stop up. Typically, we would like for it to stop down. And we can always change that stopping position with the tap of our foot pedal. So here we have tabs on the side, which say BSR 1, 2, 3, and manual. So BSR mode 1 is one of, the, one of the ways to use the stitch regulator. So BSR mode 1, the way it works, and I'll go into more detail when I talk about BSRs for the Q-Series in another video. But BSR mode 1, whenever we stop moving the fabric, the machine will still slowly stitch at whatever speed we have it set to right here. So right here, we have it set to 10 stitches per inch. So if we want those stitches to be closer for more detailed quilting, we can increase that. Or if we want those stitches to be further apart for larger quilting, we can de decrease that number. And we know we changed it because it, it's highlighted in yellow. And same thing here. This is for BSR mode one only. This is the minimum speed. So this is the slowest the machine will stitch when the fabric isn't moving. So BSR mode 2 is a little bit different. So BSR mode 2, whenever we pause for moving the fabric, 
and the BSR is still on, the machine will pause. So the machine will stop stitching and the needle does stop in the up position because the BSR is still on. So whenever we're moving our fabric, whenever we stop moving it, the machine will pause. So whenever we start moving it again in the BSR mode two, the machine will start stitching again at this set stitch length. The third BSR mode option is our basting option. Um, so we have one stitch per inch, two stitches per inch, or four stitches per inch. It always defaults to the two, that's the average. Um, if you're doing some more detailed work, you may want to baste it a little bit closer together. And if you want long basting, one stitch per inch would be the option you would choose. And the last tab is your manual mode. So this is you controlling the machine. So this is more or less closer to your to other brands of sit down long arms or like your domestic machine without using a stitch regulator. You control the speed by how much pressure you apply to your foot pedal. Um, if you're using a foot pedal, there are other options. And so basically this is the maximum speed. Could, so it won't go faster than this, but you can always slow it down or speed it up to the max 2200 stitches per minute. The other two icons you see at the bottom, this is our kickback. So if we click this, it's basically how, when we press the heel of our foot, which we've gone over in other videos, because the Q20 um, and Q16, when in the cabinet, have the brand foot pedal. So when we tap this heel part, we can tell it what it will do. So we can have it tie off. So if we hold that heel, it will actually stitch in place uh, about six times to kind of knot off the thread. But in this mode, if we just tap the heel, it will bring the needle down. If, so if the needle's up, it'll bring the needle down and bring it right back up to take one complete stitch to allow us to pull up our bobbin thread, which we'll show in a different video. Or if the needle's down, if it will then bring the needle straight just up. And then the other option would be to have it set so the needle will ju it'll just bring the needle down or just bring the needle up when you press on the heel of your foot pedal. Or this one, this will raise or lower the foot pedal. Typically, we like to keep it on the knot. The other option is this right here. This is the same icon we see on our Bernina machines. It's our start stop button. So basically you can sew without the foot pedal. So if we click this, it will come to this screen. You would want, before you come to this screen, you would wanna make sure all your settings and everything. So if you wanna be on BSR mode one or whatever, you wanna make sure all those settings are set how you want it. And then you'll click here and then we can tap the heel and then the machine, and you can let off the foot pedal completely and the machine is, fully guided by whatever you have it set to. So if you have it set to BSR mode one, it'll be on BSR mode one. So you just keep on quilting. When you pause, it's not gonna pause, it just slows down and it'll keep quilting. In BSR mode two or BSR, BSR mode three. So it's you, all, the machine's in a little bit more control. So you don't have to use your foot pedal as a, um, as a generator to turn on the BSR or power the, mach power the machine essentially. Um, but that's what the start stop button is for. So you don't have to hold down the foot pedal. So that's the main screen for the Bernina Q series. It's the same on all the Berninas. Um, just wanted to go over a quick overview and in other videos, we'll go into more detail of each function. Uh, well, hopefully this isn't too much information, um, but there will be some more videos that are stemmed from this one that go into more detail and why and actual will actually show some stitching. All right, well, hopefully that helps and hope you learned something and happy quilting.